how do you hold an international drone race? First, you need boots on the ground with a beautiful place with a strong racing presence. Florida comes to mind, but nearly all the major races are held there. Maybe along the same lines, but something a bit more exotic. Freedom Spec has been sweeping the world lately. It's the same components, but slower batteries, way easier to see and less damage. That way, traveling pilots can get away with as little as three drones instead of 10 or 20. Robert is the head of the Costa Rica drone racing chapter, a large group in their own right. He's on board scouting locations. James is the godfather of Freedom Spec. He's the one that thought it up, a fast racer and an expert race director. If you're doing Freedom Spec, you need Evan Turner. He's the owner of 533 and back-to-back -back champion of both MultiGP and the Drone Racing League TV show. You're gonna need a track. The best designer in the world is in Houston, NM Grower. If he's in, you'll probably also get Betaflight developer and ninth ranked racer in the world, the Russian that also resides there, Lamone. They're kind of a package deal. If Heads Up is in, you can count on more of the Drone Racing League pilots. Vanover, Alex FPV, Soren, and Amari. A huge snowstorm hits the northern US days before the race. Soren's flight gets canceled last minute. He spends hours on the phone trying to get another one. He's out. Vanover's out. Amari makes it to Costa Rica, but his luggage doesn't. Luckily, it was only clothes and stuff. He carried his drone on. Bonus. Remember that Costa Rica chapter I mentioned earlier? They reach out all across Central and South America. Rooney from Guatemala. Tomate from Chile. Siba and Aldi from the Dominican Republic join the group of Costa Rican racers to crown the fastest racer in Latin America. Propsicle misses multiple flights, spends 32 hours getting to Costa Rica only to arrive an hour before qualifying is over. He gets two batteries and manages to qualify fifth going into brackets. We end up with a total of 32 pilots, the perfect number for two full brackets of racing. Unknown before the day of the race was that the volcanic sands of Costa Rica contain a black metallic property that sticks to the magnets in drone motors, seizing them up, keeping them unable to spin. In other words, the ground is literally lava. Can't believe or at an event in Costa Rica find freedom stuff. It's kind of wild. Alex FPV has been one of the top drone racers in the world for several years. He even has motors and drone frames with his name on them. He also happens to live up the road from the undisputed champion heads up Evan Turner. Chief is always towards the top but hasn't secured a top three podium finish on a world stage. This year, his first on the Drone Racing League TV show, Alex has proved to be one of the most popular personalities on the show and has taken many big finishes. A lot is on the line as Alex intends to prove he isn't just among the top pilots, but that he could be the best in the world. Pretty crazy out there, oh, pretty man. crazy, but I like it. Several of the top contenders in the world were knocked out during the brackets. Propsicle. Jake Hammer, Noikel, and the Milkman. Lamone ends up getting knocked out fifth in the semifinals, leaving a final four of Min Chan Kim, Alex FPV, Chief, Siba, and Fitty Cow. It's my last came? race. I gave everything I had, I but it wasn't enough. Yeah, it wasn't enough. Really I was close. I was that close to get into finals, but. And honestly, like, I don't deserve being in the finals, I feel like. Not yet, but one day, we'll that be was there. Oh! Yeah, you can get your confidence in the morning, but once you come to brackets, it's uh, one pack can really either make or break you as far as your confidence goes, and that's that's big, so. Like, the weather's nice. It's a little bit hotter than I'm used to, even though I live in L.A. So excited no, to see, yeah. like, racing with Minchain, racing with Evan, racing with all the best pilots in the world. This is going to be a total fun, especially in Costa Rica, where a race venue that we've never seen before, flying around obstacles that we've never, that I've never seen before. At the end of qualifying, Min Chan had three laps in 98 seconds, and Evan 99 seconds, only point three seconds per lap separating them closer than anyone could have imagined. Evan goes down during the elimination brackets. Normally, in finals, you have to win twice in a format called Chase the Ace. 
However, today, Minchan has won every single bracket of this double elimination tournament. If he wins, he'll be crowned champion due to the Iron Man rule. This is a rarity, kind of like a no hitter in baseball. Min Chan Kim has Iron Man engaged. If he wins this first round of finals, he'll be the first international freedom spec drone racing champion. Round of Chase the Ace, Min Chan Kim is the Iron Man. Will he stay pristine or will we see a failure from the Korean robot? Pilots, arm your quads. Alrighty, off like a rocket. Quad vision here. Wow. Min, 50 Cal takes the whole shot, but that's all he takes as he is down and out. Yep. Uh, managed to beat Min Chan to the gate. Every pilot in this heat with a whole shot under six seconds. But now we're watching to see if we can get a feel for what the running order is in this heat. So uh, let's see here. Into the tree section. All the pilots. Yeah. Siba? No, it looks like MCK is out in front. No surprise, but not by much. Alex and Siba are both right behind him. Alex and Siba are a little bit locked up right now. Absolutely. Alex proven, oh man, Siba with one of the sauciest little tree turns there I've ever seen. Radio Master wanted to show up in that when Siba stalled out a little bit there, but these guys are pushing harder than they ever have. I think Alex might be pulling on Siba just a bit here. They're into the tree section. Uh, Min Chen now into the 533 switchback and across onto his third lap. Wow. MCK with the 32.16, 32.95 for MCK. So Alex had a faster lap than Siba there, so he is continuing to pull on him. Uh, Alex with a 33.2 and a 33.4. Siba with a 32.8 and a 33.6. You can see him. Oh, and like that, Siba is down. Oh. Right now, it's only Min Chan and Alex in this race, Alex has nothing to lose. Min Chan cannot crash, crash or we are doing this again. Let's see what happens here. And it's just like a second or less between the two pilots. Oh man, so Min Chan has to push here to keep Alex off of his back. Alex has put tons of math and science into the building of the squad. Wow, that split us was absolutely gnarly. Up into the high section here, the tree slalom coming around, the Redex Air tree trunks. Will Min Chan keep it clean or will he make a mistake? We're about to find out. Oh, wow, just they are both into the tree section. I just saw Min Chan's quad in Alex's feet into the switchback, 533 switchback, and across. Min Chan takes the win. Alex FPV just 1.13 seconds behind. Just glad I finally did good in one of these races. It's been a long time coming, and it's not like uh, this. This has to be one of the hardest lineups we've faced in the past few years. Right, give it up right now for Woo! the fastest pilot in Latin America. We knew it to be true. We thought it might be true. We always wanted to see what he could do. Top qualifier. Iron Man all the way through the bracket. Where is my buddy Min Chan Kim? I learned after the event that in Korea he's so dominant that at major events people are tired of him winning every single event. People cheer when third place is announced. They go crazy when second place is announced. And when Min Chan is announced first, crickets. The crowd silently gets up, turns around, and walks away. Yeah. Yeah.